SCP-036. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. Once every year, a mobile task force is dispatched from the containment command 02 in blank to site 22A to defend the runway and airports located there. The civilian facility is to be cleared of all non-SCP personnel by 0400 hours of September 23rd, and none are allowed to return until sunrise the next day. On October 1st, all civilians must be evacuated again before sunrise and will not be allowed on Site 22A until the return of the pilgrimage flight. Pilgrims in transit from the arrival flight arriving departure on the pilgrim flight may only be cross-examined by researchers with level 3 security clearance, level clearance or higher. SCP-036 includes a location, Site 22A, a small airport in the Mosul region of the northern Iraq, and Site 22B. The destination of passengers boarding Site 22A. The key components of SCP-036 are the arrival flight, a passenger plane that varies in make and model from year to year, that arrives shortly before dawn on September 23rd. It appears on radar about 30 to 40 kilometers away from Site 22A. When it lands, pilgrims exit the plane and enter the terminal. No crew have ever left the plane. Observations have only revealed a masked pilot and a co-pilot. The plane leaves quickly after pilgrims exit and does not wait for clearance for takeoff, nor does it identify itself upon approach or landing. The pilgrims people of the Yazadi faith that exit the arrival plane, who are said to be undergoing the Kiras Guhorin. I, I sorry if I butchered that. Each year they are examined and identified as various people of the Yazadi faith that have died during the previous year. This is done through birth certificates, photo IDs, specific knowledge questions, and when possible, fingerprinting. Most have been known to be friendly and amicable through, though most are reluctant to give details about the Kiras Guhorin. I'm sorry, I don't know how to say that. In the past, all have been shown to be unable to recognize family and friends, or been able to remember any information beyond what short-term memory would normally allow. In the late afternoon of September 23rd, most pilgrims begin to emphasize how important it is that their pilgrimage must begin. At that time, they file into the pilgrimage flight plane and depart, never to be seen again. The pilgrimage flight a passenger plane that uh, provided by SCV personnel for the transport of the pilgrims, it is mannered by a, a crew of trained Yazadi holy men. The crew are typically never able to elaborate upon the details of the pilgrimage or what the Kiras Gohorin actually is, SCV. The equipment on board function optimally, but recorded data will only slightly increase our understanding of the pilgrimage each year. Though the flight is gone for seven days, the crew and recorded data are only able to count for a few hours. The days are missing from time recording equipment and cameras, though nothing abnormal is ever observed. The, s the plane disappears from radar and visual contact about 50 to 60 kilometers away from Site 22A until it returns about sunrise on October 1st. Site 22B, the destination to pilgrimage plane, is a small airport consisting of a runway and a single building located on the coordinates blank. It is only observed by a pilgrimage crew and cameras on the plane. It does not appear on satellite images, and attempts to reach it on foot have failed. Once with disastrous results, cameras have trouble focusing on the area as the heat from the ground usually causes a mirage-like visual effect on all objects more than a few dozen of meters from the plane. A fly with over a flyover with an SCP reconnaissance plane 
Several weeks before the pilgrimage revealed undeveloped land on what looked like an ancient stone statue. In the 1990s, SCP Mobile Task Force Sigma-4 attempted to, to reach Site 22B during the time of the pilgrimage. Upon the approach, communication was lost and the task force was never heard from again. No other exploration attempts are advised during the seven-day pilgrimage. Originally, the Kurdish speaking Azadi people around Mosul secretly performed the pilgrimage themselves. Pilgrims from the east were escorted by massed armed guards on camelback into the care of Yazadi holy men. It has been explained that the holy men would then take the pilgrims west to their land of the dead, where the pilgrims would wait to be reborn back into the Yazadi people. The Kiras Gehorin, literally Kurdish for changing garments, is used to describe the belief of reincarnation that lesser souls of the Yazadi undergo. While this actual pilgrimage is done in secret, a symbolic pilgrimage and Kiras Gehorin are performed every year at this time by other Yazadi. During the 1960s, land acquisition by Kurdish and Muslims, attacks by Turks, and punitive laws by the Islamic Iraqi government restricted the movements and customs of the Yazadi. During that time, the foundation stepped in and offered aid in the way of an advantageous clause that granted SCP planes unrestricted access to airport facilities in the area. Almost immediately, mysterious planes carrying pilgrims from the east began landing at the local airport and then exclusive airports at the destination appeared as well.